Welcome back everybody. It is time for another toy review and today we've got the brand new mini drop here from O'Neill Designs. But not only O'Neill Designs but also a collaboration with Toyfinity because Toyfinity brought over some of the Mangalorean madness to O'Neill. So there are a couple very cool Mangalores to go over in this package along with some very cool nice looking figures from the classic O'Neill style. We've got Faden's, we've got our Cray booths, a couple other figures to take a look look at so let's not waste any time let's open it up okay here's the O'Neill box but I actually also have a little bonus Glyos figure that I just got recently in from eBay a nice armivore figure that I've actually been looking for for a while wow I can't just rip this open huh I've been looking for this one for a while. It's always been overpriced. I finally got a good deal on it. It is the nice translucent, all translucent armivore. Let's get this guy out really quick because I've been dying to get this guy on my shelf. Oh yeah, check that boy out. Look at him. He looks amazing. I love the look of this dude. We're gonna have some kind of smoky translucency going on in the O'Neill drop as well, but this guy's just super cool. Let's check out his other extra head. There's a little wolf head. This one's great for, you know, doing all sorts of kind of cool custom work and stuff, which maybe I'll do eventually. I might just mix and match this these parts with like another cool figure potentially, but I'm just happy to finally have the stealth armivore. But let's get into the O'Neill drop. How did you guys do on this drop? Did you go all out? Did you just get one or two figures? Did you grab the Mangalores before they sold out? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious. This is a brick. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Let's slide these off and reveal some of them in a second, but let's go ahead and, oh, ooh, we've got our stowaway Cray booth looking extra fire. That looks phenomenal. I was really hoping there'd be a stowaway in this drop and there was, so let's get them out. Let's check it out. Ooh, buddy. That is an awesome, awesome metallic red. That is really sharp. Oh, I love it. Okay, well, since we're on Cray Booths and that's the first thing I spotted, let's go over the actual Cray Booth of the drop. Let's check it out. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, that's the orange we're dealing with today. A nice translucent orange, and it looks absolute fire. Uh, Fyro scene or something like that. Cray Booth. I don't know. It's kind of like a pyro name play thingy names will be up on screen obviously but this one is really sharp really cool i did get two of them i usually get two cray booths if i can just to keep one sealed and then one to go up on my shelf for the nice display but man oh man i am really excited to check out how this orange is going to look in some of the other figures so let's kind of save the best for last with uh mangalores let's go over the little extra bits and pieces we've got that nice metallic red of the extra bonus parts and we've got that nice orange, just, you know, the extra pieces for whatever you need, the building process, you know. Let's do Faden next. Check him out. Faden, 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 the Phyro Pyro Faden. I keep saying Phyro like that's actually a word, but it's not. It's the Pyro Faden looking slick, looking fire. No pun intended, obviously, but this sharp metallic red with that orange is just absolutely phenomenal. I really love the look looks really good nice paint jobs on this one and you know what i really you know i know i don't put the cowl on enough with these guys i really need to because i really like the look of the cowl there we go there it is there's my fade and how i like it i just never seem to remember to put the cowl on for some reason i just end up putting it in my little glios boxes that's how i keep all my extra pieces stored it's ridiculous but here is our fade in a nice little wrap around here pretty sick figure it's our classic boy and i want to say at this point he is sold out i believe there's only like two things left on the store i believe there's still cray booths he like did a lot of the cray booths this time a lot around or maybe just a lot of people didn't get the cray booth i do know that cray booths were still up on the store so if you want to snag a little cool cray booth go ahead and grab those and you can also find on the store as of right now as a filming that could be updated you'll also find this guy so again you know go there quickly if you if you want to get stuff but we also got our little Theos mutants check him out man i love these dudes man they grow on me every time i do a drop with them they're really sick they're really sick especially with the addition that i'm going to show you in a minute because they did do an update of their other like real x drop that we saw from last time those figures were really cool those big monstrous claw creatures we also saw parts of those claws and bonus features of arms and appendages 
in the Mangalore Tor Affinity drop. So that was really cool to see those introduced into other, you know, other developers, other producers of the Glios figures. Here they are here. Of course, we've got our awesome, awesome head. We got the Real X head. We've got the Real X arms and everything. Let's get the, where's the seal here? Let's go. Bunch of extra pieces. Here's the head in that nice orange, really, really fire. So you can build out your Phaos, oh my goodness, your Phaos into one of those creatures that you saw from the last drop. This head is still growing on me. It's still not my favorite head. Obviously the Mangalore ones are ridiculous and I do absolutely love these claws and appendages though. They just blew me away with the Onel drop and I was so happy to see them in the Mangalore drop. It was really, really cool. You can see just how nice and detailed they got the crazy slimy mutant ah, mutation arm thing growing on it. The claw is awesome. You can fit other creatures and things in the arm for epic posing abilities. It's really sick. And then again, you can throw those right on this guy. Let's see. Let's just, let's just get him on here. Let's just test it out so you can kind of see how they'll look. All right. So there you go. He's got the claws. You can build them up and make his like chest and body quite a bit bigger. But there you go. That's how it would kind of look with a Phaos build. And luckily, since there was Mangalores in this drop, you can also attach them to the Mangalore ones, which, you know what, we're going to look at next. Again, this was kind of like a mini drop. So there was only five, five figures to get, and then the Cray Booth. So pretty small drop, just five. There was the Faden, the Phaos, the Cray Booth, and then we have two variants of the Mangalore. I guess if you want to count the bonus Glim Pack that you can purchase and build, I guess you could count that as like another thing. Uh, but you can only really build that onto another character that you already purchased. So I don't necessarily count that, although it's definitely worth it. Buy those limb packs, man. They are so cool for building. I'm going to reattach his limbs here because we're going to be using and implementing those limbs on the Mangalore. So let's check those out. Now we've seen a lot of the pyro aspects, the orange, the awesome translucent orange. Let's go into the other color variant here with our Mangalore Madness. We've got this nice smoky semi-translucent white with this shiny metallic purple. It is the look and color scheme from the previous drop of Onel. I really was a big fan of these. So to see that they did the Mangalores in this was phenomenal. We lost a limb. We lost a little limb. Uh-oh. Let's reattach that hand and check this bad boy out. So we got the Mangalord, the awesome looking figure, the Phantom Mangalord, I want to say is his name because he's our stealth Mangalord names, of course, on the screen because I can never remember them. They're kind of ridiculous sometimes. Look at that. Just, I don't think you can really fully pick up on the detail on the camera. I'm trying to get in close for you so you can really kind of take a look. It's kind of hard to see a little bit with the little detailing on the, the, I mean, the eyes are so small. I think that's what it is. The eye dots are very, very tiny. The amount of detail is phenomenal on the Mangalords, but I would say with this color choice, it's really hard to see those, those facial features. Nonetheless, still a really, really, really cool figure. And obviously since the last drop already had the limb packs like this for this color tone, you should already have some limbs for these guys if you want to swip, swip swap them and have a match. Otherwise you can, you know, swip swap with an orange, which I think would be really sick too, honestly. This figure just looks super rad. I absolutely love it. Digging this one a lot. I don't know which uh, side head I prefer yet. He's looking really cool. I can't wait to add him to the shelf of all my other Mangalords now because I've gotten all of them so far. I cannot wait for more of these guys. They just look so, so cool, so neat. If you watch my Mangalore review, my Toyfinity review, you can, you guys know I sang their praises quite a bit in that video. I just think they did a really good job. I was very excited when Onel decided they were gonna get in on the Mangalore action. So this is just really phenomenal. He is standing a little bit funny. Let's get him standing upright a little bit more. There we go. All right, slide you back a little bit. Take a look at that, huh? That's sick. I gotta slide him out of frame a little bit so you can focus on this arm that you also receive in the Mangalord pack. I love this claw arm. Looks really sharp. Again, I'm a fan. Big, big, nice, scary claw arm. Kind of just want to do this though. I kind of want to just tack this on. Some people have already started combining in this manner with these two colors. I think it works pretty freaking well. That's a pretty sharp look if you ask me. Let's toss the claw arm on because that one looks super cool on these Mangalords. Really sharp. I love that, man. So like, it's just got such a character to it. 
with how cool and detailed these are. Ah, oh, man, it's really hard to pick up the detail on camera with this one. Let's move on to the last figure of the drop, the Pyro Mangalore dude. Let's set him back here and let's get the other one out. All right, here it is, the awesome, awesome Mangalore. Man, I was so happy to see him in this color outfit. Really, really sharp. Where is the opening for this so I can get it cracking? We're just gonna have to slice into it and not cut my finger again. All right, just to touch on, once again, we do have the arm once we get a focus here. There we go. We've got the nice Pyro arm claw thing. Very good. Let's pull the actual figure himself out and we'll take a gander at him. Check that out, man. You can really see the detail a little bit more on this orange. And of course, it's got that nice metallic -y red. Look at look at just how banger that is. That looks so, so cool. Got his legs mixed up a little bit here. Let's straighten them out. Come on. That is so dope, right? Can't get over these Mangalords. Is anybody else obsessed with these guys right now? Am I the only one? I can't be, right? They did phenomenally well. Let's flip around the head here a little bit, check out the other side. Again, this head, the eyes are really set back quite a bit, so detail, hard to see with the eyes on this side. I think the other side's a little bit better for checking out the details, but that's okay. Love the cowl. We got the removable cowl on these as well, and you know, the awesome hands, the awesome legs, those those thick boy thighs and calves. You gotta love those calves, those muscle madness over here. Absolutely dope. Gotta love this pyro fire orange. It is such a, a nice vibe. And I'm hoping, and you know what? I feel like I can expect Onel's next drop to have more of these included. Hopefully we get a pyro armivore. How sick would that be on an armivore? This color orange? Come on, Onel, you gotta give that to us. That would be so, so cool. I'm really expecting more of this orange in the next drop. That's gonna be my call. I don't know when their plans are for the next launch or the next wave, but I'm hoping it's soon because, come on. That's such a sick orange, man, I love it. So once again, you can add that limb pack to this guy. Let's just throw on one of them here so you can check that out. Crazy looking mutated limb pack. You can pick up the Cray Booths, the fade in stuff like that. Let's get his normal claw on. This one just looks so solid. Just this on the screen, bang, coming at you, boy. It's the Mangalord taking over the Glio scene once again with Onel. Sheesh, as they should, they deserve it. Here's one more closer up look of the entire drop from Onel Designs. Absolutely crushed it, absolute fire. That will be the rating, just 10 out of 10 fire. Looking good, including the Mangalores. Absolutely digging this stuff. So excited for what's next with Glios and we got God Bees coming up. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. But if you do want more Onel products or if you wanna see what's left in the store from this wave, you're gonna wanna make sure to go to the link here. It'll be in the description. It'll be in the comments, you name it. Go check out the Onel store, support the creators, get yourself some awesome Glios. That's gonna do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you watched all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like, a comment down below and subscribe if you enjoy these types of toy reviews and want to see more glios reviews make sure to let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more we'll catch you guys in a few days for another back-to-back -to -back toy review we just had the god beast drop as well so we are going to be checking out those figures they already look super cool very excited so i'm going to go film that and we'll catch you guys in the next video